Hello, Facebook. Welcome to today's episode of Melissa's Daily Musings. Yeah. I'm on my balcony. You can check out how beautiful San Diego is with me. How awesome is today? The sun is shining. I've got a wild little hair flip going on here. If you've joined my live video, please share me or sh comment and tell me that you're here or give me some love, some hearts, some likes. I love you guys and I love, I love to feel your love back. Um, so I'm coming to you live with a special little message today about streamlining your life. John and I, because we work a lot, we have had to um, instill some practices in our own life to really streamline what we do and make sure that we're being the most efficient we possibly can with our time. Because any time, ooh, thanks for the hearts, you guys. Any time that we have additional outside of work, we really like to be having fun. So priorities. We don't have a lot of free time, so therefore we like to streamline the free time that we're streamline the time that we do have. So we have a few tips and tricks that we use often, um, and I would love to know if you guys have any unique ways to streamline your life, anything that you're doing in your business or your life that helps make you more efficient because we're always trying to improve. I'm repping Canisius today, you guys. I'm Martin Luther King Day. Um, so I'm gonna start out first by just some working from home tips. A lot of people get super distracted from, while working from home, and it was one of our problems too. I personally find that when I don't wanna work, I start busying myself around the apartment, cleaning, doing laundry, I like start putzing around. So to solve that problem, I started scheduling cleaning and laundry. Um, we've since, um, pretty much every Monday, do cleaning and laundry, I straighten up the apartment, do a bunch of laundry, and it eliminates that distraction throughout the week. Time blocking, that's right, David. Um, so we've kind of blocked time. I leave myself a few hours on Mondays to do those chores around the house, and I've actually since hired a cleaning crew to kind of do monthly maintenance. So they come and do like a thorough clean. Once a week, I just kind of wipe things down, make sure our apartment's looking great. We live in a 500 square foot studio, so cleanliness and um, you know keeping things organized is a must in our small space. But that's one of the ways that I avoid distraction. So really, if you find yourself being distracted in your home space and you tend to work from home or utilize your space for working, definitely time block those distractions. You'll want, it will help you out immensely. Another way that we save time throughout the week is meal prepping. Food is huge for us. We eat extremely healthy. Um, so we're not often, you know, grabbing food on the go. If we do, it's, you know, from a salad place, but most often we meal prep. So what that means for us is, you know, time blocking or allowing ourselves the time to like chop veggies for crock pot meals. A lot of times, um, if I have a spare day, like a day that doesn't have a ton of appointments, I'll designate three or four hours to meal prepping and I'll create a few different um, meals for throughout the week. I'll chop a bunch of veggies and kind of Ziploc baggy some crock pot meals for the rest of the week. I do a ton of food freezing to meal prep and assist us. And that's a way that we can um, always eat healthy while on the go. So we're often, you know, with our cooler bag at open houses always. You guys may have seen my snaps over the weekend. We had an amazing pomegranate salad. It was delightful. So you can still eat amazing and on the go all the time as long as you prep for it. Another way that I've saved a lot of time recently, I would love to know if you guys are using the service too. Amazon Fresh is dope. I love Amazon Fresh. I recently signed up for it. It comes um, with a Prime membership. You just have to pay an additional, like I think it's 16 bucks a month, but my groceries get delivered to my door. I have not been to the food store since about October. Give me some likes on that because I hate food shopping and you might too. If you're in the San Diego area or like um, New York City I know has it, New Jersey where I'm from has it, Amazon Fresh is sick. I love not going to the food store. I can order food about right now, this time of day, and it will be at my door before 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So it's amazing. I don't have to be home. It gets delivered. It's on ice packs. If it's frozen food, it gets delivered on dry ice. It's sick. Amazon is changing the game in terms of efficiency. So that's one way that I really save a lot of time. And it's great because if I know that there's a day that I'm going to have a few hours to food prep, I just order my Amazon Fresh the day before, and then I've got everything I need for my food prep. So it's all about planning. Another way we kind of eliminate friction and chaos in our life is with an, a zero inbox policy. In real estate, I have a lot of friends um, and colleagues outside of the real estate industry as well who on their phone when they open up their inbox, there are thousands of messages. I'm a very A-type personality. Not only does that stress me the F out, I would like freak out if my inbox looked like that. 
It uh, tends to be disorganized. It's a really easy way for things to fall through the cracks. I found myself missing things and forgetting about things, so I started implementing the zero inbox policy in a lot of aspects of my, way, of my life. Not only my email inbox, but my text messages, my missed phone calls. If I have a notification on there, I don't look at it until I have time to respond to the call, and I do so within 24 hours. If I have a text message that I don't have time to respond to, I leave it as unread, and I respond to it within a few minutes when I have the chance. Emails, the only things in my inbox are things that I still need to action. So right now, I do a ton of business here in San Diego. I only have four emails in my inbox. And you know what? It makes me feel so good. When I, oh my goodness, there's a bee on me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Ah, no, so, so my inbox is just a testament to kind of how I try and run my business and my life. It's eliminating all the confusion. I immediately respond to emails and I get them out of my inbox. I stick them in a folder. If they still need my action or me to address them, they stay in the inbox. So that's a great practice. Give me some hearts if you like that one. And then um, for John and I, John and I are very different planners. Um, when we first started working together, and honestly, when we first um, started our relationship, we would often have friction about our schedules and planning, and the way that we really improved that, this bee loves me. Ah, do you guys see it? Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, so a great way that we improved that was with a shared calendar and to-do list. And it's awesome, you guys. The shared calendar is great. When John makes plans, he sticks it on our shared calendar and vice versa. It eliminates him every morning asking me, what's going on today? Because I would be like, oh, John, I just told you yesterday all the time. So it's a great way for him to check up on our shared calendar, see what events I have scheduled, see what events he has scheduled, and see what we're mutually doing so he's aware of everything that's going on. And the same thing with to-do lists. I kept asking John to do things and he would forget about them. And it was the way that I was communicating with him. I recognized that I needed to improve my communication with him. So we created a shared to-do list. And now I'll verbally tell him something. And if I don't put it on the to-do list, he'll ask, he'll give me a reminder. He'll say like, babe, can you put that on the to-do list? Or I'll just go right into his to-do list and add it to the to-do list. So, and vice versa, he does the same with me. So it's just creating systems to eliminate the friction in your life, streamlining the process, making your life more efficient so that any free time that you have is not frazzled and chaotic. It's just seamless and you can have fun in that time. So I'm so glad to share these tips with you today, guys. I would love to know how you're streamlining your life. If you do anything that I'm not doing, if I could be doing anything better, I would love to hear it. I get tips and tricks all the time from people. Honestly, Amazon Fresh was the suggestion of a friend and I tried it and I have not looked back. So I would love to know, you know how you manage your work, how you manage your inbox, if you're doing anything different than I am, um, if you and your husband or your significant other Hi, John. He's watching me right now. Um, give me some hearts, you guys. Um, but yeah, would love to know what you're doing. Would love to know if there's anything that I can be doing better because I'm always trying to, to improve myself. That's my episode of Melissa's Daily Musings for today. Hope you guys have a wonderful Martin Luther King Day. If you're taking off, I hope you're enjoying this beautiful weather here in San Diego. And I will talk to you soon.